Now on Sunday, England's women face Ireland at Castle Park in Doncaster in the women's Six Nations to a sell-out crowd. Yes, and England are currently top with two fixtures played, but Ireland are equal on points. Mark Ansell has been to their training camp in Loughborough to see how preparations are getting on. When it comes to rugby in our part of the world, the focus is invariably on league. But on Sunday, Union takes centre stage in Doncaster when England women look to make it three wins from three in the Six Nations. Zoe Aldcroft from Scarborough will be returning to her home county for the match versus an undefeated Ireland. It's always special going back to Yorkshire. Um, I first started playing there so I always get a big crowd coming and supporting and also the crowd that do come, they're always really loud and it's really nice that they're always so close to the pitch. Preparations are going really well, we're just coming to camp today, obviously training in the rain, um, but yeah, um, hopefully we'll get some sun on the weekend ready for the game. Morwenna Talling from Helmsley in North Yorkshire is just 17 years old. She's been included in the Red Roses squad to gain vital experience. It's been a bit like a whirlwind because like obviously it was really quick and it was a bit of a shock but it's been like really nice because they're all welcoming so it's been interesting. What's it like for you to play with the best players in the country? Uh, yeah it's really good because like, obviously they can like help you and they like really improve my game as well as like getting the best out of them. Preparations are well underway here in Doncaster at Castle Park. This place will be packed out on Sunday. More than 5,000 people will be watching. It's a sellout. The facility that we have here and the operation that we deliver, we consider it, we're very proud that we're able to bring international rugby union to, to Doncaster and the area. Uh, a lot of rugby unions obviously played down the south, so to have a full England international back here at Castle Park, I think, is a real privilege and, as I say, uh, recognition of the uh, delivery that we have here and the fantastic facilities that we're able to boast. For head coach Simon Middleton, who's from Nottingley near Pontefract, this is the chance to raise the profile of women's rugby union in Yorkshire. We love taking on the, the, the Red Roses on the road to sort of be able to showcase what the women's game's about, and you know it's progressing massively. And uh, you know we, we we know there'll be a, a great fan base, and lots of young kids, you know, boys and particularly girls coming out to watch us. And you know if that influences a few more to take the sport up and, and get into the clubs, uh, then, then that's fantastic, and we'll keep spreading the word. England's hopes of retaining the Six Nations rely on success in Yorkshire on Sunday. Mark Ansell, BBC Look North.